Now we're going to use this example to explain how we add fractions. And notice that these two fractions have different denominators, 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. We cannot add them directly, and we have to make sure they have the same denominators before we can add them. And we also need to explain why. Okay, so uh, what we can do is we can uh, first, we can use math drawing to help us explain the process. So first we're going to draw uh, two thirds out of a hole and a three fourths out of the same hole. So make sure they have the same hole. And um, so let's draw two holes. That's one hole. And the second hole. Make sure they have the same lengths. And first let's draw two thirds. Divide the first hole into three equal parts. And we shaded two of them. And then for the second one, we divide for the fraction three fourths. We divide it, divide the whole into four equal parts, and we shade three of them. So now we're going to, and it, from the drawing, we can see that we cannot add. So this one has two parts each of size one third, and that's this one has three parts each of size one fourth. That's why we cannot then add them because. And we're adding different size um, project uh, objects which they cannot be added. Okay, so let's see. We uh, what we're gonna do? We have to turn it into the same size um, parts, like or like parts. So what we can do is we look at the the, the what caused them to have different sizes. It's because of the denominator three and a four. If we can change it into the same denominator, they must have the same uh, size parts or like parts. So we look at 3 and 4. They can be converted to 12, multiply 3 by 4 and 4 by 3. And that's going to turn both of them into 12. So we are going to take 2 thirds and multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. And, and let's look at the picture wise so we're gonna have to you have to have keep the same hole i'm gonna go ahead and do it for the bottom one also and now uh, let me go ahead and show the original cuts so this was two thirds i copied the drawing here i'm gonna go ahead and copy that drawing but what we're gonna do is multiplying by four which means we divide each part into four smaller parts so cut a half half and a half 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 so notice that originally we had a three now it's 12 parts now and the shaded let me go ahead and also shade the two parts we had before two parts becomes uh, eight now uh, same thing here notice that for three fourths we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by three which means we're going to divide each part into three equal parts. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. And notice the whole is turned from four parts into 12, and the yellow shaded parts is turned from, they are turned from three parts to nine parts. So we are going to get eight out of 12 and a nine out of 12. Since now they have exactly the same sizes, we can add them. So here we have eight parts, each of size one twelfth. Here we have nine parts, each of size one twelfth. So we can add, so eight twelve, nine twelve together, we get a 17 twelfths. So we can add eight twelfths plus nine twelfths, which gives us eight plus nine. That is the total number of parts, 17 twelfths. If you want to convert this to improper a uh, mixed number, you can, um, but uh, you, you don't have to um, if you want to do that. Okay, so we do also need to, this is the procedure of adding. So we do also need to explain why we add this way. So why do we need a common denominator? Because we need a uh, like parts. And so what we're really doing in the procedure, because we're adding uh, eight parts and nine parts, and of the same size, 112, uh, to get 17 parts um, of size 12. So I do have uh, everything typed up here. And so first of all, the first step is to find the least common denominator, which is to divide the 
um, the, the parts into equal size or like parts. Then add the numerators, which is to add the uh, number of equal size parts together.